Hi there, my name is Hispanic Crow and welcome back to the channel. Today, uh, you might have seen at the beginning of this episode, um, a quick little time lapse of me helping out Kvagram. Uh, I had hopped onto the server just for a quick second to uh, just get a picture of me flying for last episode's thumbnail. And I saw that he was on and I knew that he was working on the road, so I decided to carve out that tunnel and help him out. Um, but he told me that I should go through and uh, walk the entire distance of the path. So I think we will try to do that and along the way we'll try to update the giant map. make some inventory space here so I can grab as many pieces of the map as I can. But yeah, let's let's, uh, let's walk that path. Um, okay. Let's update you. Okay, no trees. Alright. Alright, so we'll grab um we'll grab this guy, we'll grab this guy, we'll grab this guy. Um, I don't exactly know where the path goes out. Goes hmm. I'm thinking it probably goes like this way. Alright, that's about as much as I can hold. Alright, let's go. Here, I'll put it in my offhand so I can see better. You might be wondering where the map has gone in the upper right hand corner. Uh, no, we did not update to 1.16 just yet, but I hear that's going to be happening soon. Um, I actually just installed Optifine onto this um, little machine I have, so hopefully the random lag spikes will, you know, at least be better. So, fun fact, I actually already traversed this path. Um, I didn't bring my mask with me though, but um, eh, death all around. Uh, but I did, so I did it last night, but when Kavagram asked me to walk the path, I had had a little bit too much to drink, so <laughs> I ended up spending the entire path scrambling on about my best friends. Uh, Sammy and Dan, my roommates. Um, so I, I'm not going to use that because I sound incredibly rambly and uh, intoxicated, but llamas? Mm, 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 mm. No, no, no. Hold on. Uh, what do you have here? No, what? I know you have something. All right, come on. How how does that work? How does the uh... hmm. 
I'm sorry if you can hear, hear my uh, roommate in the background. Uh, but, you know, they are my absolute best friends in the world. I, I swear. I mean... Ugh, lag spike. Please ignore the little lag spikes. Um, they are my best friends in the world. For real. And I'm not just saying that because I'm a little bit intoxicated. They, um... I've known them for a really, really long time. That was when I met them. Uh, I have two roommates, a girl and a boy. Um, Samantha, the girl, was a trainer at this call center that I worked at. Um, and that was good. Uh, he is really doing well with the distribution of lots. Like, I don't think I ever gave him stone bricks or cracked stone bricks, so good for him. And then Dan, which is my other roommate currently. He... Um, he was a new person who came in. And, uh, you know, he came in and helped out. And, uh, I just saw a stone. Ah, my goodness, Kevagra must have grabbed a whole bunch himself. Leave that here. Um, I'm gonna leave him another brick. <laughs> you can have that now, Kevagra. There you go. Mwah. Damn. Um, joined the call center, and he and Sammy really hit it off, uh, like, amazingly well, which is great. Like I'm, I'm, so, I'm so happy for them, and uh, those two end up dating, and those two ended up getting married, and they were my friends, you know, like when I was working at that call center, like. I knew them both, so I'm just gonna <laughs> do this instead and uh, walk through. Now this is looking really nice. Um, he must have done some work before or after I left. Um, pulled out with, and also I was uh, noticing that he must have collected a lot of stone on his own because he has a lot of, like a lot more than I would have expected. Not more than I left him. Which is impressive. Like, congratulations, Kavakram. I mean, you did an amazing job, and I have not been filling these out. Eh. Oh well. Alright. Got some random alpacas, uh, or an alpaca, an alpaca, and a donkey. And there is nothing inside them, but that's fine. Yes, 1.16 prepping. That is going to be soon, I hear. Um, Chris has said that we're thinking Monday we'll make the switch over. So he's warning he's warned us not to log off um, inside the nether or the end. So it could be that you know he'll reset the end as well. Should I buy sand or mine it? Them you late the economy. Not that side. Uh, yeah. So you might, you might be wondering. 
uh, why it's so difficult for me to type. Uh, it's just because I, um, I have my microphone in between me and my keyboard. Floating grass. This is a nice, peaceful stroll. I like it a lot. And isn't it ironic that the episode after I get my wings, that's the first episode in which um it's the first episode in which I have to start walking, start it out by walking a bunch. I don't know what Drupal's talking about. Let me ask him. So I think what he's talking about is setting up a, a counter on the tab list um, that would indicate how much ancient debris was mined. Ah. Um, which I think that'd be a good idea. I mean, why not? Um, so I think, what is that? <laughs> um, what is this? Oh, that's the, uh, the Sorcerer's Hub area. Okay. Yeah, uh... I am super excited for the Nether update, but I don't really think I'll like go mining a whole bunch for ancient debris. I mean, if I find some, then you know that would be great. But eh, I'm not the kind to go exploring. Like, I'll explore the Nether to get the fancy wood and the new um, nether grass and saplings and whatnot. Not that I can use it uh, while I'm a night sorcerer because I can't use bone meal. Although I do hear that an alliance might be starting up soon between the herbalists and the night sorcerers, so um, maybe we could exchange powers and let me use bone meal. But yeah, I think, like, the blue wood, especially, I'm, I'm super excited for it. And the red one, or uh, purplish, I don't remember. But the red one looks nice, too. But blue fire, I think the blue fire especially would be a super great look for the night sorcerers. I don't know what, <laughs> I don't know what's happening with group one. Uh... You know, when I was drunk, I don't recall this being so long. Graham really is a master at putting these rows together. I mean, he, uh, if it was up to me, I would just kind of make, well, I wouldn't make a straight shot, but he's really good at making twists and turns and curves, um, in his rows. But here I am. Jimothy is here. I think that's what I named him. I don't remember. Uh, made it. 
random blank sign. I'm happy for Kavagrad. He finally got himself a new member in uh, Anime. The Fire Nation was just hugely overpopulated, and there were too many, like, lesser populated um, factions, like like Noit Sorcerers, technically we have three members, but only two active ones, and uh, Kavagram was just himself, so and uh, so yeah, I'm happy for him for getting a, a new guild member someone he can you know, play with and, and, and have stuff happen here while he's off working on the road and such. But we traverse the whole road, so we're gonna go on back. They really need ice for this nether path. I think... I think that's what I'm gonna work on. Um, to thank Kavagram for working on the road and to help seal the official alliance that we will be having. Um, I know where some icebergs are, I got a silk touch pick, and I'm gonna try to get him a bunch of ice. back and you might notice a couple of interesting things uh, so it is a new day um, and I, I dropped off the ice and that was that was that was me being done for the day but since then we've had an update see this thing in my hand here blue fire it's beautiful um, yes we updated over the weekend to Minecraft 1.16, the nether update. Uh, so what Chris ended up doing was he, he chopped up all the unused pieces of the nether and uh, we got to explore it, me and the other moderators, just making sure things were working correctly. Um, there was a lot of lag at first, but I think that uh, after the update, uh, there was a lot of lag at first, but I think so far that's been mostly fixed. I think it's pretty much back to normal. So here we are, 1.16, and uh, this episode's probably running a bit long, so we'll just do one more thing. Uh, actually, I take that back. We will do two more things. We are going to make a nice little update to the tower. Uh, not an update to the tower itself per se, but an update to the way we get to the tower because I am tired of hopping and jumping up the side of a mountain. So we're gonna roll that.
And that is that. We now have our nice little actual path, so I can have an easy way to get up there. And there's one other thing I want to do real quick before the end of the episode. Something simple. We are going to run around and replace every torch, every lantern, with the blue variant. Let's go. Starting with you. I love it. You, and you, and you, and you, and you. You're useless to me. You're garbage now. I remember when I was excited to see these things. But now we have such a pretty replacement. Might as well get rid of this temporary sugar cane zero tick farm now that they no longer work. You were good while you lasted. Thank you for your service. Mwah, beautiful. Ah, oh, it looks good. Okay, keep going. Place the torches on the path. Place the torches on the path. Can't have these torches on the path. Gotta have the blue ones. I am running out of the blue ones again. That was my new hit single. Uh, blue torches. Catch it on iTunes and Spotify. I need more! All of my coal reserve, all of my trees, will be sacrificed, if they must, for the blue fire revolution. So next episode I think I'll go actually exploring the nether a bit more. Obviously I did a little bit to get all the soul sand that I have, but um, next time I think I'll try to do it. I'm really not good at doing those kinds of things. Probably will end up just dying and losing a bunch of my stuff. But, give it a shot. Um, if, you, if you ever notice, on the tab list we have numbers besides our names. Beside our names. And that is the amount of ancient debris that I have in mind. And can I just say that Fruit Bowl is an absolute insane person. And steel too. Like, goodness gracious. I'll never be able to beat those, those numbers, but good god man um i'm not gonna replace those torches on the floor just yet until i do some more work on that tower and figure out exactly how i want the lighting but yeah we're looking good looking nice and blue what even is the purpose of this i don't know i just live here man Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my life's complete? Wouldn't you think, Stanley, that I'm the girl? The girl who has blue fire. Up where it's hot, up where it's light, up where I like the blue fire with all my might. Someday you'll see that you just can't be yellow anymore. I need more. I need more. More, more, more. I need more. Coming at you this fall, that was disbanded crows. I need more. Coming at you on KFM radio station. Could he be going insane? Could the blue fire be brainwashing him? Tune in next time. Is this the beginning of a blue flame cult? Well, could be. Followers of the blue flame. 
Welcome, uninitiated, to the followers of the Blue Flame, a subsidiary of the Night Sorcerers. Well, I guess for the next episode, I gotta have a followers of the Blue Flame skin. Who is this guy? I've never heard of this guy before. King Duck. That's a new, a new name. I thought Kavak Ram was King Duck. He's a step it up. Oh, come on, what is that one doing up there? Uh, now that sounds amazing. That new sound of uh, whispers. Beautiful. That what that is what powers our blue flame, ladies and gentlemen. The souls of the damned. That's why the followers of the blue flame, you know, we're the best cult out there. We have dental insurance. We have a nice cozy light to keep you warm by. Spoiler alert. It's blue. All right, in the piece de resistance. Look at it. Blue campfire. So nice. Stanley. Stanley, what do you think? Do you see the blue? Is it nice? What do you think? Blue is for babies. Well, fine. Fine, Stanley. You can't join the followers of Blue Flame, then. That guy will be my friend. Hey, hey, guy. You're wearing purple. Close enough. Well, I think that's about all the time I have for today. This episode, I think, probably went a little long, but, um... I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, I'll see you next time where we try to explore the nether. Mm. Okay. Oh, come on. I was going to let you join the group, buddy. Mm. All right. Bye.